Hello beautiful people, welcome back to another video and today we're looking at some amazing work done by very talented people that are unfortunately not me but these are commercials and music videos that have really inspired me lately so we're gonna try to break them down, find some information and behind the scenes so let's get right in so first I want to look at this North Face commercial it's shot by Fabio Tozzo, I'm probably saying that wrong and directed by Samuel Morris and this is shot on the Komodo with the size standard speeds it's only one minute, so I think we're gonna look at it together. And hopefully I don't get a copyright strike. Hey darling. I just wanted to make sure that you know I'm so proud of you. Beautiful POV. I love seeing your progress. That's your what I mostly want to talk about, all the, all the POV shots. So, it's amazing. take note. And when you fail, you choose to get back up. You really inspire all the people around you. Beautiful flares. It's your positivity. Sound design. Work. It's so good to see all your stories, to watch you grow. Because you just never stop. You really never stop. Never stop exploring. Okay? Love it. So a very beautiful spot. I love everything from the music, sound design, the colors, and all of these POV shots are what really caught my attention. And these are done with the Snorricam Pro, as well as the DIY rig that uh, the team has built for this commercial. So I managed to find some uh, behind the scenes from uh, Fabio's Instagram, and he was kind enough to let me use it in this video. So we can see the red Komodo. This is uh, from like, I'm guessing testing before the actual shoot. So a perfect size for this kind of thing, the Komodo. And you can see they have it on this guy's shoulder there. It's like a very DIY um, sort of build. And then uh, in this one, we can see the classical Snorri Cam, the Snorri Cam Pro. Very, very beautiful shot over there. And by looking at this behind the scenes, we can kind of assume that this was mostly just natural light. This whole commercial, it has a very natural feel. And you can see this looks like a pretty small crew. Also on this previous clip, um, we can see they're just like bouncing some light back into her face. Nothing fancy, not easy, but simple and very natural, which I think uh, this whole commercial is. The lighting here is just so beautiful but you can see how the sun is just giving her this really really beautiful edge light it's a hard light but because it's you know it's, we're just using it for the for the edge there it's still pretty nice because the side of the face that is closer to the camera is uh lit pretty softly i'm guessing maybe there's a bounce there or maybe it's just the uh, the natural light and the beautiful flare we have here pretty subtle but it just adds a little bit of interest there so a very very beautiful shot and I just love how there's all these crooked angles with the flares and you know, nothing about this frame is like aesthetically perfect in any sort of way, but that's what makes it so beautiful. And, and there's a lot of these shots throughout this commercial. And I think it just really adds to the human feeling here, you know, to the natural beauty. We're in nature, it's North Face. So I think the decision to go for these kind of shots um, using these lenses that give you this really beautiful character. I mean, look at all of these flares. I think that's a perfect choice for me for this project. And yeah, a very, very beautiful commercial. So next up, we have this music video called Number One Candidate by Ants Live. It's directed by Tom Emerson and the DP is Isaac Eastgate. This beautiful video is shot on the Atom XDR on 16 millimeter film, obviously. And the lenses they used were the Elite Illumina size super speeds and the Canon 11 to 165. So I think we can start by looking at this beautiful opening shot. So I think there's a lot of story behind this shot. This is Ant, like this is actually the, the artist and you know it's not a stunt person, like he's actually riding the horse um, and he had zero knowledge of riding horses before this music video. So in the interview, Tom basically says that it took Ant about 10 hours to learn how to ride a horse for this shot. And basically they had to find like horses and a horse master in the Dolomites in Italy to be able to pull this off, which took quite a bit of time. And then Tom also says just finding this road where they shot this shot was really, really difficult. So the way they filmed this was um, out of the back of a pickup truck 
I'm guessing just holding the camera handheld by uh, Isaac, the DP. And um, this is pretty surprisingly steady for shooting out of a pickup truck. And I think this is like such a powerful way to start off the video. And this whole music video just looks like a painting. The snowy mountains behind, the grass, the animals. The colors are absolutely amazing. They're shooting on film, that's for one. But then also, obviously, um, the colorist is Joseph Bicknell, which is one of the, if not the best, like colorists out there from Company 3. And there's a lot of beautiful shots in this music video. We're not gonna go through all of them, but this is one that I really liked. It just feels very rich with all of these things in the frame. Um, the goat, all of the food on the table there, the slanted angle, the vignette that we have. Just so much character and richness in this frame. This one, personally, I also really liked. I noticed that I really like the color red lately. And this one, I don't know why, it just has a lot of depth. I think it's the, the color is just really on point. The whole frame is a bit on the cooler side of things. And the red just pops out so beautifully. And it creates a beautiful contrast with the cooler tones in the frame. This shot is also full of character with the flare, the wide angle, the composition, just great. This one I also really liked, again, with the pop of red and the amazing richness of the greens in the background and also like a very unique kind of uh, angle. I uh, really liked that. Then there's some cool transition shots. The first one is over here with a simple whip pan. Then there's this scene, which is just match cuts between different takes, which is very simple in concept, but when you watch it, it's pretty impressive. Then there's that shot, which is zooming out and into this cool transition and that is basically three shots combined one is zooming out of the mountain one is zooming out of the goggles and then one of uh, of the artist just performing against a uh, white sky and then it's just composited together into this one cool transition then riding off into sunset and that is the end very very beautiful and this last commercial i couldn't really find a lot of information about so let's just quickly go over what i liked about it um, but it's a commercial for quickbooks it's shot by mauro chiarello and it was directed by ian ponce jewel so straight away we're starting with a pretty insane shot for this opening crazy spinning movement then this second shot is also like one of my favorites from this commercial. Just think the low angle there with the wide lens and this really, really beautiful hard light. It's just really beautiful. And there's a lot of hard light in this commercial. We're gonna get into a couple of more shots, but it's one of the main reasons why I liked this commercial so much. You don't get to see hard light um, utilized too much in commercials. Usually, you know, clients want very soft, and flattering kind of light but this commercial they went really hard with it so we're in this sort of american diner and this kind of light just creates so many interesting spots like this frame is filled with so much to look at and that's obviously a lot due to the beautiful set design the art direction and then the hard light just flatters everything and basically they're just pushing a lot of light from these windows over there um, not the ones you can see but the ones we can't see on this frame but over there on the right side of the frame and here again we have a very wide lens which creates a very interesting composition and angle there and you can see there is a moving light on our face and that's something we see a lot in commercials just to add a little bit of interest and here again we can see the hard light and this time it's directly at this person's face which we really don't see often and i really appreciate the fact that they took this decision in this commercial and i really really like the look of this hard light straight into this guy's face and of course we're always staying on these shadow sides so we get the depth and we're not just flat again shadow side hard light from the other side very hard light and I mean, this shot is just so good. Look at this shot, hard light on all of the faces and it looks good. Okay. 
and this was all just a dream of course and that's the end of the commercial and yeah just a beautiful commercial the sound design on this is absolutely amazing i'll have a link down below go and watch it and uh, yeah, the main thing for me in this commercial was the use of hard light that really, really inspired me. And in general, lately, I've been trying to use uh, hard light more because I think it's really interesting. It's, I like that it's natural because you, you, we do have a lot of hard light uh, from the sun, you know, in real life. And not a lot of people utilize hard light currently, so I'm really liking it. And I'm going to try to do more of it in my own videos. So it's getting really, really hot now with the sun. So I'm going to wrap up this video. These were my latest filmmaking inspirations. Hopefully that inspired you as well. And I'm always looking through Vimeo and Instagram, just constantly uh, consuming all of these commercials. Music video, I was trying to really research what did they shoot on, what the what their approach for the lighting was, just trying to soak in different inspirations, different ideas and try to implement them in my work. So hopefully by making these videos I can expose you guys to the stuff I like and hopefully stuff that will um, again inspire you and help you create better videos. So let me know if you liked this video, if you want to see more of these kind of things where I try to break down other people's work so yeah if you like this video give it a like and consider subscribing for more videos like this one also hit me up on instagram at a 96 i upload all of my work over there behind the scenes um, stories from just what i'm doing daily what i'm shooting um, editing and also feel free to shoot me a message um, ask any question or just come by and say hi so thank you for watching this video and hopefully I'm going to see all of you in the next one. Peace.